Hi guys, I'm gonna show you today how to I guess I'm gonna show you today how to use IKEA pack doors for a building wardrobe. That's those two doors here, one wooden part, one uh, mirror. I'm just gonna show you how the frame look like, and uh, so you have an idea if you have a similar pro problem in your house, you have uh, some space uh, to cover. So this is maybe one of the cheaper options. As you know, the building wardrobes are quite expensive, so maybe this is a solution. Um, how to avoid uh, the cost. So I'm gonna show you how to how, how the frame is done, how all the interiors are done, how I fix the rails here and the bottom one and how, how the doors are sliding on. So the frame was done already so I just um, bought the doors, put them together and adjust the main uh, size of the frame uh, according to the measurements for the hinges. So the bottom was adjusted and the top was adjusted and I have to figure out at the top uh, how to fix the top rail which is the most important one because it's holding a lot of weight uh, because those doors are uh, fairly heavy especially the middle one they are very heavy so we have to fig I have to figure out how to make that one solid I'm gonna explain you in a bit so I'm just gonna show you how the wardrobe looks like uh, from here so on one side we have the big storage space on the top and a hanging rail on the side and on the other side that in the same there's one long one uh, storage on the top and another hanging rail on this side and it's divided uh, with one panel on the middle as you could see on this side there is a this frame coming from the side it's covering the uh, covering the side here and we have exactly the same on the other side uh, this panel here is starting from the wall, so this is the ending panel here. The measurements of the main frame, just from here to to the top, they were not matching uh, to the measurements of the pack stores. In this case, we have the, the tallest pack stores and the widest stores, what I guess I'm right now, uh, from the pack range. So I have to adjust the measurements from the top to here to be exactly matching with the rails, with the, with the hinges on the top and on the bottom. And the measurements have to be very precise. So basically this measurement from, from the top to the bottom I have to match exactly on the middle and on the other side. And it has to be straight in level as well, otherwise the door should slide on its own. So everything in level and the right measurements. So how the frame look like from outside. We have basically NDF material starting uh, from the bottom. So the whole frame here is connected. Is it connected to the wall all the way up? Up here and there is a connection here. Not very straight. And as I mentioned, this frame was built already. So I was focusing only on the door. So that's how it's done. The frame on this side is slightly, slightly wider. And it's connected again down here. So that was the outside frame. And now I'm gonna show you how it looks inside. So this is the inner frame. On the side, you can see how is it connected? This MDF material all around, so this is the bottom and on the top. So there is two wooden panels on the top, connected together, connected together on the middle, and that one is fixed to the wall. This is the main one, which is um, holding the whole frame here. This one coming on the top of the wardrobe when you're building the wardrobe. Here, I didn't have where to go because the the panel is uh, thicker, this panel is thicker, so if I go on the top of it with the frame, it wouldn't match the size of the, of the hinges. What I did, I went under, but uh, the challenge was if it's gonna be uh, strong enough to hold the weight of the, of the doors. I didn't want to move uh, this panel uh, a bit lower, because this was already solid fixed on the wall. I fixed the top rail. 
so how I fix it I use those uh, plastic holders here or brackets or whatever it is so one part is going to the wood straight to the wood and another part through the rail and here I got a few of them together where I didn't feel like the rail is holding strong enough I put a few more on the side and it's all along the rail exactly the same I put some thick uh, screws uh, on the main frame as well, straight from the frame uh, to the wood, so there is plenty uh, grip, so the frame here wasn't moving at all. Put the fix inside. Now I'm gonna show you the bottom. So the bottom part, as you can see, uh, there is one uh, main panel here. One main panel here connected exactly uh, as on the top with the with the slimmer panel um, under it, and they join together together with this panel and what I did, I adjust the, the height of this one, uh, this panel so I could fix the rail from the pack wardrobe straight on the on this MDF uh, one which is white so it's covering the front all along so it looks like a wardrobe from outside I'm gonna show you the other side, the bigger part of this uh, building wardrobe so here is the other side, uh, the bigger the bigger part of the water. So exactly the same, uh, one thick panel, one slim under it, and then just the height so we can fit uh, the PAX uh, rail, the bottom one, which is connected with the doors. See, so it's connected down, down there on those uh, the kind of hooks which are looking under it. So on this side it's just connected here, and you can see the side panels here, how is it connected as well? This panel was extended, uh, original was only till here, I have to extend it here, so I just use those connections, those plastic connections, very convenient. Uh, I just screw them together and uh, the whole panel extends, so the width of the wardrobe is just about what we need. And on the top, the connection is exactly the same. And on the side here, we have those covering uh, edges. You have to adjust them slightly as well. I, I just use a few washers down here under it so you can level them up straight. Exactly the same on the other side. Just a few washers under the screws. And here is the, here is the top, uh, top rail from outside. Another connection here. A few more screws from the, from the front. And exactly the same on the other side, so it's not in a way the door sliding. Once you decide to do this, um, you should know. Uh, bit about the carpentry. I don't think it's I don't think it's an easy job. I think uh, you should have some skills already before. Um, I would not recommend uh, for someone who never built any any furniture to start with this because it's uh, slightly complicated and uh, as those are very heavy. So uh, if you don't do the top part properly, you may end up uh, with the problems. Uh, the doors can uh, can hurt someone. Uh, contact someone who is able uh, to do this type of work and uh, they may uh, suggest you what to do, how to do and if it's possible to do it. Hope you get some ideas how to cover your free space or how to save some money uh, on a built-in wardrobe. And this is it, IKEA PAX doors with the built-in wardrobe. Hope you enjoyed it, yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, made my day and see you in the next one very very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. IKEA Pack Stores. I'm going to show you how to um, build in IKEA Pack Store in a building wardrobe. Hi guys, today I have a small IKEA hack. Well, small. It's a slightly uh, big use IKEA Pax model. So today I'm gonna show you. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. You know what to do. Subscribe.
and like. Don't forget, 